you already know what are rocks rocks are natural substances composed of solid aggregates of various minerals that have been fused together so we know that these rocks occur naturally and they are a combination of various minerals that have been fused together now how are these rocks formed we already know that they are naturally occurring rocks but how are they formed where do they come in nature the inside of the earth is very hot the hot molten rock material that exists below the earth's crust is called magma so now this magma exists in the mantle of the earth so what happens look at this video this video will show you how the hot molten rock material that is the magma comes out from the earth's crust through a crack now what happens to this magma after it rises onto the surface of the earth now when this magma was below the earth's crust it was under a lot of pressure and it was very hot inside the earth so we can say that the temperature inside the earth was very high now after it comes out on the surface of the earth it undergoes change in both pressure and temperature okay as this temperature and pressure on the magma decreases or changes this causes the magma to cool solidify and crystallize on cooling this magma solidifies and then crystallizes to form rocks now which are the rocks that are formed in this manner well granite and pumice these are the two examples which are formed this way what do we name these rocks as we name these rocks as igneous rocks the word igneous comes from the latin word ignis which means fire that is why they are also known as fiery rocks now along with granite and pumice basalt is also one type of igneous rocks well now let us study about some characteristics of these type of igneous rocks you can see that they frequently have crystals now this granite is having crystals which makes it looks glassy now another thing that metals such as copper iron tin and aluminum are also obtained from them so you can obtain metals from these kind of rocks now these rocks also contain mica basalt granite feldspar and silica now some of these rocks also contain other rocks such as feldspar quartz and various other rocks now let me tell you an interesting fact have you heard about the devil's tower in usa well it is a national monument over there now how was it formed do you know it was formed by at igneous intrusion that is magma came out of the earth surface and it cooled and solidified over there and this formed the devil's tower so now this is a national monument in usa how was this formed this was formed by an in igneous intrusion so what did we learn we learned that igneous rocks are formed by cooling and solidification of magma